So we have the Ericsson booth here at Arm Tech Camp 2011. So who are you? Uh, my name is Daniel Lewis. I'm Director of Product Management for Ericsson Mobile Broadband Modules. So what are you showing here at the Arm Tech Camp? What we're showing, we're showing mobile broadband modules, which is a modules for 3G, 4G, wireless connectivity that can be built into a variety of devices. So this is 3G, 4G, it means uh, HSPA plus? Yes. So this is the whole thing? Yes. So what do you connect here, uh, an antenna? Uh, you need to integrate it with a PCI Express mini card interface and then you need antenna solutions in your device. Do all devices come with this PCI Express kind of stuff? Uh, ty typically notebooks and tablets do, but we're seeing a shift also to a, a different form factor, solderable on, that is thinner. This is sol solderable? Yes. What is this? You solder it directly on the board rather than have a physical connector that you connect it to. So does that mean this has the same as that or what yes, is that? Yes, identical. Just a different way of doing it and able to do it thinner. Uh, less power consumption or is there anything about that? Uh, no, not less power consumption but the, by soldering you have the advantage of um, more heat dissipation so uh, it won't generate as much heat in the device so it enables you to build a thinner device. How about, uh, what is the power consumption of a USB stick compared to a, a uh, native uh, 3G built-in? Uh, more. USB dongles and external types of devices uh, consume more power. Uh, because they, they run on a different voltage, so embedded is always more efficient. How much more efficient? Like a lot or just a little? Uh, quite, quite a lot, uh, about 50% uh, more efficient. Alright, so here you have some examples of devices that have your technology built in. Yes, so we have uh, the, the Sony uh, S-Pad that comes with our module. It's so being released in, uh, in the US in November. Nice. So, what makes it cool that it has your your module? Does it make it better than if they didn't? I mean, they're they're comparable solutions, but I think the advantage we bring to the market is that we we use ST Ericsson chipset, which makes it very power efficient. Uh, can we you open up to, to just see how it looks inside? Yeah, we can open up. Very very power efficient. We have a small footprint. And we are also, being one of the big players in the wireless industry, we have a competitive price on this to, to make it affordable for people, uh, for, for uh, different manufacturers to buy. So the, the whole game right now is uh, uh, performance, power consumption, price, yes. and that's where you yes. are leader? Or? Yeah, I think I think we've made it's it's a fairly new business within Ericsson. It's only four years old, and in that time, we've become the leading supplier in the notebook space, in the PC notebook space, and we've uh, had some very successful design wins in the tablet space as well. So I think we're doing very well. So you leader in uh, built-in for notebooks. cellular inside, not yes. the USB sticks. Not not external. We only do built-in. You don't do any USB sticks. No. That other companies do? Yes, we leave that to others because we, in the long run, we don't believe in that. A anything that can be integrated should be. I mean, you, c you can see that throughout the history of, of these types of devices. Web cameras were external when they came. Wi-Fi was external when it came. Now they're all built in. The same should go for wi wide area wireless connectivity. But you can't say exactly how much something like this cost, right? But uh, No. It's... But it's, it's, it's getting affordable and it's getting to price points where, where more and more devices can uh, be enabled to have it built in. The costs have gone down tremendously since we entered the market. So there's 4G, but LTE is even better, right? Right. And uh, you have stuff with that? Yeah, we're, we're working on it and we, we've, we'll, we'll come out with our LTE products in 2012. So. We'll see more, see more and hear more about Ericsson LTE modules during 2012. Would you say that uh, LTE will be eventually more power efficient and overall better than the previous generation? In general, for every new generation of modules we bring out, they are more power efficient. So that is, will be true for our LTE module as well. So on average, the power consumption will go down. But in corner cases, the extreme corner cases, when you're far from a base station and running full 
full speed download, it will consume more power. But on average, it will be less. And in the beginning, the price is higher for new yes. generation. Yes. It's a new technology. Uh, it, it doesn't have the scale of HSPA yet. I mean, uh, there's only a number of millions of devices uh, sold with LT during this year, and there'll be some more millions next year, but there's hundreds of millions and soon to be billions with HSPA, so you can see the scale. It hasn't scaled to that yet, and that therefore there'll be a price difference. You said it's only four years you're doing this. Yes. What were you doing before? Er Ericsson comes from, uh, from uh, the wireless infrastructure, so Ericsson's main business is wireless infrastructure. This the base stations? Yes. Just the base stations or the, the fiber stuff? and. Ericsson has a complete portfolio of, of t telecommunications equipment, but our m main focus is wireless e equipment. So AT&T, uh, Verizon, all these guys, they might be buying stuff from you? Yes, they're our customers. And uh, to have a better network, you need to upgrade the base stations all the time, or what do you do? do you uh, what do you do? Uh, I mean, you have to upgrade for capacity as, as more, more users come, come, come on board to your network, of course you have to upgrade. But it's also a question of topology, right? Uh, a question of how, how many base stations you have. We need more yes. and more. Yes. We need them closer. Yeah, to, come, to, to have higher capacity. And you have R&D centers in Sweden? Uh, US, a uh, number of countries. Ericsson is present in more than 180 countries around the world. So you're not all, only Swedish? No. No? Definitely not. But some of you are. Yes, some of us are. The HQ is there. Yes. All right. Cool. Thanks a lot.